Hi, it's Michelle Einstein's song, Birdsong. When I first met Edwin Birdsong and started to like him, uh, I uh, was helping him realize his dream, which was to make money with music. And I realized his lyrics said, hop, skip, jump, step, I'll get you, baby. So he needed a lyricist. So this is what I wrote. I'd put out the blaze if the world was in flame just to make you see that you're the only one in the world for me. Okay, now, what happened? What are the spinoffs of this four lines of lyric? I'd put out the blaze. Glenn Beck put out... Um, social media called The Blaze. It's now called The Blaze dot TV. Glenn Beck was George Washington and I was Martha Washington, his wife. His uh, partner at Glenn Beck at uh, The Blaze dot TV is Mark R. Levine. Mark Levine was President John Quincy. I was President Quince's wife. Okay, I put out the blaze if the world was in flames. The, ten fl the twin flames are Nat King Cole and Josh Groban. Uh, about two months ago, I received a piece of paper that said, you're in love with Nat King Cole. And I realized the kindest person in the world to me when I was growing up was Brother Wright. He was very dark-skinned, and he was short, but he had big hands that he used to push the lawn mower to mow the grass to make it beautiful, and he used his hands to hammer nails into uh, wood that built our house, and he was very strong, but he was very gentle with me. And uh, he would come home from work and pick me up and toss me in the air and catch me every time. What a thrilling experience it was. It was so thrilling that when I grew up, I worked in the air as a sky goddess as an airline stewardess for American Airlines. Brother Wright, um, Nat King Cole, reminded me of Brother Wright. He was very tender. He also had lots of color in his skin. And he, he spoke kindly to me on the television. And I fell in love with him. And he felt my vibration. And he fell in love with me. Nat King Cole has reincarnated his Josh Groban. Okay. And back to President uh, George Washington, Glenn Beck. I used to watch his show, and he educated me about politics because he was uh, very... He was obsessed with getting the truth to the American people because he said when he left CNN and went to Fox News that he believed if he worked as hard as he could to get the truth to the American people, they would do the right thing. So I watched his show religiously. My daughter Robin said, Mom, you finished Glenn Beck's sentences. She didn't know I was Martha Washington because I didn't know at that time that I was Martha Washington, and we didn't know he was Glenn Beck. But anyway, uh, I got so involved with Glenn Beck, I emailed him uh, my opinion about some of the things. Probably as I had done, I used to talk to him about my opinions when I was his wife, Martha. And so... I would email him, and so one day on television on his show on Fox News, he said, I get 4,000 emails a day. 
And that was his way of telling Martha, there's no way I'm going to be able to find you in 4,000 emails a day. So she stopped emailing him, but she didn't stop watching his show. Okay, so uh, on to Nat King Cole. There's a question. Uh, Nat King Cole says in his song, Stardust, the memory of love's refrain. That was the end of the song, Stardust. A question asked by Rabia Dankin. Now, my daughter's name is Robin. I used to call her Rabia. And my father's name was Wilbur Daniel Kinfolk. Dan's Kinfolk, you see. The name is in the family. So her question was, what does love refrain mean? And uh, they said it means one meaning is to have a great attachment to an affection for. So Nat King Cole would say, my stomach just growled. My guts just said, yeah, that's the truth. Nat King Cole had great attachment to me and affection for me. And I had the same for him. The second meaning, to have passionate desire, longing, and feeling for. To like or desire to do something very much. Now King Cole has to refrain from making love to Minnow. That was my nickname. She's only five years old. I was only five years old when I met him on the TV. And he's a grown man, though he's in love with her, and she's in love with him. Nat King Cole's song, Nature Boy, at YouTube, Hugh Margo's. We spoke of many things, he sang in the song. Of fools and kings, he said, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. You can have his baby. You can cook him a delicious meal. And you can nurture that baby for nine months or however long it takes to just it. And uh, you can uh, endure the labor pains and without being angry. And you can breastfeed the baby, which is difficult, but very rewarding. It's a perfect food for the baby, and it's a way you bond, the mother and child bond together. So... Uh, so you can uh, have his baby and do all that for him, and he'll tickle your clitoris with his finger and tongue until you succumb. Michelle Bird song. Till you come, however long it takes, he'll focus on showing you his how grateful he is for your love, for you having the baby and cooking him delicious food and cleaning the house or whatever you do for him. Then when you start to come, since he became you while focusing, he comes with you. You two come together. You gave love, the babies, and the food. You received love. He worked and took care of you, and he tickles your clitoris at night. He gave love. You gave love. You received love. He gave love when he tickled your clitoris. He received love 
when he came, when you came. Eternity. E for extra T for terrestrial. E for egg. R for sperm. N for energy. I for pleasuring. Tie. Extra terrestrial egg and sperm energy. Pleasuring is a pleasuring tie. You're bonded. Tickling. Pleasuring. New York. The Statue of Liberty. And eternity means past, present, you come. Come is the past, present, and future. Past, present, future at the same time. You're unaware of the passing of time. Okay? A Statue of Liberty in New York, that's what she is. And he says, J.V.K.E., who is just Josh Groban and Michelle Birdsong's son in a past life, wrote the song. And these are four lines from the song. The song is called Golden Hour. And he says, I don't need no light to see you shine. But he says it this way. I don't need no light to see you shine. And he sings shine. He emphasizes the word shine. It's your golden hour. You slow down time. In your golden hour. You're 31 eternally. Okay, so this is a explanation of time, I mean love, in different lifetimes. Okay, I hope I didn't go too fast for you. You can listen to the video again and again and again as I have listened to these songs again and again till I came to understand their true meaning to my heart. When I was listening to uh, Nat King Cole, he had a TV show. He was the first black to have a variety show on television. I was watching him sing um, Stardust. And, oh, it was Autumn Leaves. Yeah, and, he said, and I miss you most of all, my darling, when Autumn Leaves start to fall. It's now... September, October, it's autumn, and tears poured from my eyes when he sang those songs, and I realized I do love him. I did love him when I was five years old, and I still love him now that I'm 31 years old, we'll say. So, there you are. Uh, what is it? Truth is stranger than fiction. <laughs> Okay, it's Michelle Einstein. This is uh, Josh Groban and Michelle Einstein's song, Bird Song. So long. Uh...